Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today the topic of discussion is free radical substitution of alkenes. This is very interesting, short, quick topic. So today we are going dis to discuss very uh, this special topic, you can say free radical substitution and uh, watch this video to its full uh, because it involves three steps and I'm gonna uh, discuss those steps one by one. And for this, I will take uh, uh, ethane in which a single bond is present in between carbon and hydrogen atoms. And those hydrogens will be replaced with a halogen. That is, I'm going to take bromine here. You can take chlorine or any other halogen too. So when alkane and hydrogen, that is the bromine here, are made to react with each other in free radical substitution reaction, then free radical substitution takes place and not the addition, addition reaction just like alkenes. Because um, alkenes um, does addition reaction instead of substitution, free radical substitution, um, they have double bond, unsaturated, unsaturated bond. So that bond present in them like in alkene uh, that double bond is made to react with the halogen and it attacks on halogen and uh, um, so um, and, and the addition reaction takes place but in this case uh, halogen atoms are made reactive in case of free radical substitution reaction uh, reaction in between alkene and uh, bromine uh, takes place and that bromine is made reactive in the presence of light or photons and the step involving uh, this um, making making re reactive the halogen atom is known as initiation step and overall the reaction involves three main steps initiation propagation and termination so let's get started with the video and i will elaborate all of the three steps one by one if you like the video do share it with your friends like the video and do not forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload new videos so that you do not miss any update so first step is initiation step second one is propagation step and third one is termination step and in initiation step we are going to take our uh, halogen, halogen atom that can be bromine chlorine as i have told you before whatever you want and expose it to the light and when you do that the bonding in between the two bromine atoms will break up and as a result we will get a bromine atom with seven electrons in it so uh, actually you will get two bromine atoms and uh, those will call as free radicals of bromine and these will have as i told you that odd number of electrons in them and according to the octet rule bromine firstly had eight electrons now after removing one electron with the light or photon it is now having uh, seven electrons in it so before as you know it was very stable having eight electrons in it but now it is not stable and it is very reactive and it is prepared to react with any species you want to react it with so it will try to get the stable by reacting with the species so we initiated the reaction and got a reactive species in this step so after this step next step will be propagation so let's see how um, let me write it for you that how we get the bromine uh, radicals first of all we will take a bromine molecule br2 um, so let me first write here that which alkane we are using so we will take ethane the simplest ethane uh, alkane that is ethane plus we will react it with a halogen that is br2 in our case uh, bromine so ethane will be reacted with bromine to do this free radical substitution of alkanes so now uh, we took in initiation step a bromine molecule and reacted it with the light or exposed it to light and we got two free radicals of bromine so we made, made a free radical or reactive cpc for further reaction in this whole reaction mechanism uh, we are doing the free radical substitution of alkenes which means we need to make a free radical first then we will substitute those uh, that uh, free radical which we made here uh, on the alkenes so we made in first step 
of uh, initiation uh, bromine uh, bromine radicals and then now we will use them in propagation now let's get started with the propagation step so in propagation step what we will do in preparation step uh, in this step the bromine radicals will be reacted with the alkene and as a result free radical will uh, um, take away one of the hydrogen atom from the alkene and that will give you hbr hydrogen bromide and additionally we will get alkene with reduced number of hydrogen atoms let me write it to you for you along with telling you about the step so one hbr will be formed and another um uh, another one c2h5 radical ethyl radical so we got one hbr and alkene with reduced number of hydrogen atoms is left so one hydrogen atom is gone and carbon is left with one unpaired electron in, on it so you can see that it is very unstable just like uh, bromine radicals that's why it uh, goes on and uh, uh, it will uh, react with the br2 or bromine molecule and it will form ethyl bromide c2h5br that is ethyl bromide this is ethyl bromide let me write it for you and this time uh, an ethyl radical took a bromine uh, bromine from the bromine molecule so that one bromine uh, brominated the ethane and one bro, uh, bromide left here bromide radical left here so i'm gonna write that bromide because we used a bromine molecule so one bromine is brominated the alkane and another is left so if you look at the let me write that left bromide radical we took this bromine one is left one is uh, one brominated the alkane and another one is left here so basically in propagation step bromine radicals and ethyl radicals will form and will react again form and again react so they will keep on forming and reacting with each other and a chain of the reactions take place in uh, during this course of step so in in whole of the step what uh, it will proceed like uh, a bromine, a bromine radical is formed a ethyl radical is formed and they are reacting with each other and they keep on reacting and um, they follow a chain of the reactions so one ethyl radical is formed uh, will form here and it will react with another ethyl radical and will form a butane so it is difficult to believe but it will form in both of the ethyl radicals will react with each other and they will form a butane so let me write it for you Now if we see that bromine radical is uh, acting as a catalyst because uh, they are being used in the reaction throughout the reaction and then um, they are produced first then they are used and um, finished up and then reproduced in the end. So we can see that it acts as a um, uh, catalyst but this step actually you need to ignore here because it will take up uh, take place in the termination step so here you won't discuss it so um, this is not involved in the propagation step so next step uh, in in propagation uh, we if we uh, have a overall look on the reaction then you will notice that a c2h6 molecule and a br2 means ethane and br2 bromine a molecule reacted with each other and gave us a ethyl bromide plus hydrogen bromide c2h5br and hbr it seems like we did a double displacement in between them so apart from this in propagation step bromine molecule will keep on uh, forming and uh, keeps on brominating the alkenes so and though you know, to stop this reaction next step comes up that is termination step and as the name is suggesting it will terminate the uh, step or the reaction so overall c2h6 reacted with bromine molecule and um, it will give us a ethyl bromide and hydrogen bromide as i told you c2h5br that is ethyl bromide and hydrogen bromide 
सो हियर प्रोपिगेशन स्टेप एंड द एंड टू एंड दिस प्रोपिगेशन रिएक्शन वी विल स्टार्ट टर्मिनेशन स्टेप सो एज यू सो इन द बव स्टेप दैट ब्रोमिन रेडिकल्स इथाइल रेडिकल्स वर फॉर्म्ड इंटर एंड इन टर्मिनेशन स्टेप दो रेडिकल्स विल रिएक्ट विद ईच अदर एंड एज अ रिजल्ट अनबेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन दैम विल पेयर अप एंड एंड अप विद नो मोर फ्री रेडिकल्स इन द रिएक्शन सो बेसिकली दिस टर्मिनेशन स्टेप इज टू स्टॉप दो द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दो फ्री रेडिकल्स फॉर्मिंग इन द प्रोपिगेशन स्टेप सो इन दिस स्टेप इट स्टॉप्स फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू रेडिकल्स इन एंड Uh, here if you have uh, finished the free radicals of bromine then is uh, uh, again we form it in the um, through light and we will form it c2h3 uh, h5br that is ethyl bromide and and ethyl radicals formed in propagation step will react with each other that i step ignored you i told you to ignore in the propagation step will take place here and both of the uh, ethyl radicals will react with each other and form butane at the, at the end of the reaction so let me write it for you c2h5 radical plus c2h5 radical will give you a butane so now you must have had learned it and i think the name of the steps are also making sense to you that what's going on in overall steps um we initiated the reaction then propagated and then terminated thanks for watching